Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about everything we know about Doctor Who Series 13 so far. Uh, not loads to be honest, I'm also going to be talking about going into 2022 uh, and then three specials, I'm going to personally count them as Series 13, uh, like the Series 4, like the 2009 specials that were included in Series 13. Uh, so I'm going to be talking about them as well. I'm also going to be talking about when we're going to get a trailer uh, and when I think we're going to be getting an announcement for a for the next Doctor and the new showrunner. Uh, I'm going to start with that. So I personally think, I, I might be wrong, that the next Doctor will be announced after the six part series 13. Uh, if, if it starts in October, which is rumoured to, then that will run up to December. I could be completely wrong. If, so that runs up to Maybe start December, I think. Uh, depending on what day it starts on. And then we'll get an announcement. A week later? Maybe? I don't know. I think the showrunner will be announced first. I don't think it'll be a big reveal, BBC News thing, or BBC special thing. Uh, I think it'll just be a press release. Uh, I'm expecting the next stocks is announcement to be big uh, with like how Jodie did it like interrupting I think it was a football game um, or some sort of special event they could do it oh that's an idea they could do it at a certain show's final like strictly because apparently according to a rumour or someone speculating anyway, the trailer is going to be on before the start of Strictly, which starts on the 18th. I don't watch Strictly. Uh, I can't stand it, it's really boring. That's just my opinion, don't hear me. <laughs> uh, if, if this is true. So if, if the trailer airs just before Strictly, uh, I could think, maybe, that they could possibly, possibly, do a Doctor Who reveal at the series finale. That would make sense. And I think that would be quite a good idea. I could, I'm probably completely wrong. But that's my guess. If they're going to air the tra if they air a trailer, before Strictly, then I could be right. If they don't, then... <laughs> uh, yeah, so we could get... I don't know when Strictly ends. I think it's middle of December. Yeah, I'm sure it's like middle of December. Maybe end it more... later in December. I don't know. Anyway. Um, we could even get it after the New Year Day Doctor Who special. I think it will be some point between now and end of January. I don't think they're going to keep us waiting for ages. They might not even have a Doctor ready. They, apparently everyone else is saying that they haven't got a showrunner. Because the BB has, the head of something, something somewhere has said they have no plan yet for Doctor Who. I'm not going to lie, that is quite concerning. But I think they're lying to us because they like they like to do that. Uh, so we'll see. So my guess is, final guess, trailer at the start of Strictly, and then Doctor Who reveal either during Strictly or at the end of the or the start of the final. Or at 
the end of the New Year's Day special, which we are getting, I think. So, moving on to series 13. There's something going around on Twitter at the moment about a multi-universe story. Where this has come from, I have no idea. Apparently, there's an alternate 13. Where this has come from, I have no idea. I think they're getting too much into this because they're talking about because Spider-Man have recently released a trailer about a multi-universe. Marvel multi-universe. So, I don't know if that's true. I mean, I'm not going to lie, it would be quite good to have an alternative th alternate 13. Uh, I think it would be quite interesting. Um, even if it's a different person. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> another Doctor. Roof Doctor could be an alternate 13. No, because he's pretty out of them. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Timeless Child storyline is apparently confirmed. I haven't read that personally. Uh, we're getting Sultarans, Weeping Angels. I assume we're going to get Daleks in the New Year special as well. Uh, yeah. And it's a six part one storyline. Which, not going to lie, I'm quite excited for. Uh, because Chipnall writes really good specials. Especially Revolution of the Daleks, which I really liked. Uh, Revolution was good, but not as good as. Um, Second one. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what they do with this. Uh, I think every single episode will end on a cliffhanger. Uh, I think, I assume, we, I don't think I've heard anything, that the episodes are still 50 minutes long. We don't know if they're going to air on Saturday or Sunday. I'm assuming it's going to be a Sunday because I think I said last year that I thought they were going to be on Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, but they were Sunday. So that's that. Um, yeah, that's it. Air date. Now, let's have a look. I need my calendar. I think that so the 18th is a Saturday what are the rumours I think the rumours were the 3rd or the 10th of October some were saying Halloween because there was Halloween stuff seen during filming So it could be the 31st. So if it goes on the 31st, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we'll finish on the 5th of December. If it airs on the, th let's say the 10th, I think the 10th is more likely to be honest. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it will finish in November 14th. When's Doctor Who Day this year? Doctor Who Day is on a Tuesday this year. Um, see, I don't know. It depends how much gap they want between the New Year's and the series. Uh, that's a tricky one. Yeah, I don't know. So. The rumours were also that the Weeping Angels was Jodie's last episode, but we know it's now not. There's also another rumour that Catherine Tate's in it. Now, until recently, I didn't quite believe it. Because on Twitter, I'm trying to Twitter again. I mean, a lot, I've been at, I'm at, I'm at on Twitter a lot lately. Uh, Catherine Tate was meant to appear at a Comic Con somewhere, I don't know where. 
uh, but she had to cancel them because she had to work. Could be a completely, completely different thing, but Doctor Who was filming at the same time. Before when she was seen in Liverpool, I didn't quite believe it, but I can't. I don't know. I don't know how they would do it. I don't know if they'd just do what they did with the end of time again. Interesting. Very interesting about Donna. Uh, as much as I'd like to see her come back, I'm more, I don't think, gonna happen. But I'm more thinking it will now than what it was earlier this year with the whole cancel Comic Con thing. Uh, is there anything else? Specials in 2022. So we're getting one in the year day, one at Easter, assuming Easter Sunday, and then one in, in October. And the October one, which is going to be really strange, is Jodie's last episode. So they're breaking tradition. Again, it was like that. Breaking tradition of doctors regenerating at Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> now, I assume by then we're going to know who the next Doctor is. So, let's assume by then we know who the next Doctor is. Or we might not. Anyway, if I'll do two scenarios. So if we do, then great. If we don't, <laughs> I don't think we'll see the next Doctor till the next time it airs, which could be 2024. I'll go into that in a minute. Hopefully not. So the reason I said 2024, oh, it makes me nervous every time I say that is that, apparently, this was a rumour when I go, so I don't know if it's still going around now, that the BBC want to move Doctor Who to London into the card, because the new showrunner, I can't remember her name, is very busy and wants to move to London with Doctor Who or something. Now, when I heard that, I didn't think about this. Holby City, unrelated, but Holby City is filmed in London. Holby City is ending this year. I'm just saying, studio space available. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. But it does kind of make sense at the same time. <laughs> so, if that happens, series 14 and a 60th anniversary. Personally, I don't think the BBC will miss out on an anniversary. They like anniversaries. Casualty. EastEnders. That's all I watch. But anyway, they like anniversaries. I think Doctor says one at some point as well. So I can't see the BBC missing out on another anniversary, especially one that is the 60th. It's not EastEnders. I think EastEnders next anniversary is 40th. I don't know what casualties. I think casualties is 40th. I think. I don't know. Um, but I can't see the BBC missing out on a 60th anniversary for or two. Now, if that is the case, they are going to be filming it in 2023, like they did with the 50th. They filmed that in 2013, and it aired in November. If this is the case, with them moving studios to London, then it's unlikely we're going to get a series. 
this is I do this all the time. I do like timelines of when they're gonna film stuff. Yeah, I have no idea. So my theory, if they move studios. So filming for the Centurion special wherever it is. See, no anniversary. Anyway, since whatever it is special in October next year. Ends I reckon either end of this month or end of October. They said they've got a few weeks left. I reckon end of September. September. I'm gonna assume Holby again. This is just speculation, I have no idea. Holby will finish production at the end of January. Maybe. Because normally soaps are like six weeks ahead. And I think it's meant to end in March on TV. I think. I don't watch it so I'm not sure. I could be wrong, they could be ending filming in March. Anyway, if that is the case, I think we should all get one anyway. Um, so say they end production for Holby in January 2023. Right, I need to stop myself there. Because I'm talking about Holby's production... Oh, I don't know why I'm talking about this, but anyway. Holby's production ending in 2023. It's not going to end in 2023. It ends at the end of 20, at the start of 2022, not the end of 2023. Why I'm saying that, I'm, I've jumped a whole year. Please ignore what I'm about, what I said there. So, I'm going to carry on this video now because the rest of it I can't edit out without making no sense. So, try again. Holby's production ends, I'm calculating again, end of 2022. No, sorry, January 2022, end of January. Doctor Who will probably move in, if they do move in, they might move. Probably move in at the start, as soon as they finish. So I reckon by March they'll be ready to film. If this is the case, again, this changes the thing I hope that I said earlier about the Doctor not being shown until uh, the next series, uh, or the 60th. I'll go into that in a minute. If So if they start filming in March 22 in London, where they've taken over Holby, we will get a series 14 in 2023. So 2020, no, we will, yeah. So we will get a whole series in 2023. How many episodes, how long, I don't know. I'm not going to go into that because I have no idea. So they start filming in March. They could easily get it out by April 2023. If that is the case, fantastic. And then we get a special in November, which they start filming in 2020, or maybe February, March 2023, April maybe. Depends how long. Well, they don't take a year to film me, do they? So, so, at the latest April 2023, they start filming the 60th anniversary. So that makes sense. I'm not going to go beyond that, because oh, that's ridiculous. So that is my speculation. If, however, we're not going to get a series in 2023 and they don't move to London, hmm, they could take the whole of next year. So the BBC could take, so this means we won't get an answer for Doctor Who. They, they could take a whole year to sort out what they're doing, we're doing with Doctor Who. Which does kind of make sense. So, We will probably get an anniversary in 2023 because if you think they're going to take a whole year to sort it out, that means though we're probably not going to get anything New Year, Christmas 2022, 2023, which I'm not really okay with. Um, unless they take half a year, so they start filming in July for the Christmas, New Year, whatever, then they'll be okay. But I've got a feeling they're going to take a whole year to find what they're doing with it. Because like they said, they don't know if this is true. Like they said, they don't know what they're going to do. So they could take half a year maybe to sort it out 
Think about what we're going to do. Think about Showrunner. Think about a new Doctor. So we could get an announcement. Maybe not till November 2023. 2022. Again, second year. No. Maybe till end of 2022. No, nah, that. Anyway, if that is the case, fine. We'll just deal with it. It'll be a whole year since Jodie announced. And they've never taken that long. I don't think. No, they only took like the maximum they've taken is Matt and Pat, Peter. I think. Matt was Christmas and Peter wasn't confirmed to August. Anyway, so we're probably going to get at minimum a special, an anniversary special in 2023, which will be the 14th Doctor's first episode, which, to be fair, doesn't sound too bad. I quite like that. I think it'll be interesting. Yes, it means we'll get no. Special between Christmas and New Year 22-23 But Anyway, I'm going to stop Because this video is going to be too long Thank you for watching Let me know what you think Let me know if you think I'm right Let me know if this makes sense Because it probably doesn't And I'll speak to you when we get a trailer Thanks guys See you in the next one